Hi guys, George from Cyprus Insight and today we're up the mountains near Paphos and we're going to go to the little village of Aminu that's down there, look tiny little village the population's about 25 so that really is tiny now there is a sign here look that says Amenu one kilometre away that way you see but the road looks really really bad let's have a look yep and there was a car in front of me and it went in that direction and I'm going to just chase the road down because I've just seen that car down there so I think we can go this way. So I'm going to go this way, guys, because last night we went out trying to find some food to a restaurant. And uh, unfortunately, we got stuck on a road like that. It was pouring down with rain. And we did manage to get out. So we've got to be careful. Oh, we're going to go that way, I think. So here we are in this quaint little village of Aminu, district of Baphos. And we're going to go and have a look around here. This must be the village square. It's quite a big village square compared to other villages, considering that the population's only 25. But like the village we've just stayed in up the road, Quite a lot of these houses are now holiday houses for the summer. A lot of people from Nicosia and other places where it's quite hot in Cyprus will come up here in the summer and uh, spend a few weeks up here where it's a bit cooler. So I think that's the uh, town hall or could be the old school, you see. There's the church, and normally we do get the school and the church right next to it. So I think that was the old school. And now is some sort of government building. Oh, we've got two churches. There's a really old church down there. Go and have a look at that. And then a newer church on the left. I think there was a lot more people living in this village having two churches around now look at this there's an old mill stone this one would be for wheat I would think and I think this is for olives because you can see all the channels for the olive oil to come through so that's I think that's for olives Let's go and have a look around, see what else there is. Lovely town square, isn't it? Beautiful. So it's 26th of November. I think it's about 14, 15 degrees. Now I've got a jumper on, believe it or not. Oh, there's a watering hole. There, let's go and have a look at this old church, shall we? What an amazing place. And you see some of these old houses. That one's locked up. I think there's someone in that one. Okay, let's go and have a look at the little church. Oh, look at this. So there we are. This is the original little church, 18th century. Let's go to the front. As usual, it's got a side entrance. Little bell tower. That's unusual. A chain for the bell. Normally it's a roll. Oh, look. Here comes the uh, bike crew. get that quite often up here in the mountains bikers coming up for the weekend 
Right, we're at the back of the church now, aren't we? And it looks like we've got a cemetery right next to the church. This is very, very unusual. Normally it's set away somewhere in the outskirts of the village. But this one's right next to the church, right in the grounds, I would say. Even we've got some burials here, right in the ground of the church. Look, there's one here and one there. Even one over there, look. That's a very unusual. I've never seen that before. Look, there's the cemetery. You see? Okay, let's go around the front of the church. Now, there was a holy cross in this church. That's been transferred over to the new church. We'll go over there in a bit. Well, there's the front. Look at that beam on the top. I think that's holding the roof apart. Keeping the roof apart a little bit. I don't know why it should do that. I don't know why they would put that there. I mean, it's uh, the wall would obviously do that. Maybe it's an old uh, RSJ. Not sure, guys. Right, let's see if we can get in. Now, normally, there's a little catch at the top. Now, this one hasn't got one. No lock. So, it's obviously locked from inside. And you get through the side door and then lock it, the front door, from inside. So, let's go to the side door. Oh, it's got a lock. That's quite unusual. There we are. It's got the original entrance. You can see the carved stone. I think that's been restored partly there and at the top. I think that's an original door though. Probably is. Yeah, look. And it has got a lock. Looks like it's the original lock. It'd probably be a massive key. There we are, across the top. We haven't got a date, but we are talking 18th century. Right, let's go to the new church, shall we? Or newish church. Yet another millstone. Conveniently located benches all the way round. Enjoy the sunshine. It's an amazing village. Have a sit down. And we're going to go on because we've just got out today. I'm going to go and have a look at some other little villages. Right, let's go to this building here. Now, we've been to a few schools. Look out for the videos in some villages. And you can always tell the old schools. Look at the ceiling. These panelled ceilings. Oh, it's a post office now. Look, there's the sign. Oh, we are getting good at this, aren't we, guys? There it is. It was a school from 1937 right through to 1976. Oh, we are getting good. Nice little playground. Oh, that's upstairs. There's a little cafe here as well. Look at that. Okay, let's have a look at this newish church. So here we are, Aos Marina. Got some new doors. Very unusual, UPVC doors. Mm. And why have we got a cross here? Is this the cross? I don't think so, guys. This has come from the cemetery. 
I'm not sure why they've put it here. Is there a burial here perhaps? Right, maybe. Who knows? Yeah, unusual, anyone can tell me. Look at these wonderful old houses on the left as I walk in the church grounds. Look. Oh, they are beautiful. Now that one's not been restored at all. It's got old critter windows, probably from 1930s. Oh, the ones down the end, the stone ones have, and one in between. Looks like it's seen better days. An old tin roof. All right, back to the church. Nice bell tower. It's got two bells. Quite unusual. Ah, oh, one minute, the rope's missing off one bell. You see. Let's have a look at the other bell. One minute. Uh, can't see where you ring that one. Oh, I can see something. Some rope going down inside the church. So I've disconnected the big bell from the outside and I think they've added the small bell later and these doors are new these UPVC doors so I think the church is from the uh, 1970s and uh, unfortunately all the windows and doors have rotted away and they've put these UPVC ones in their place. I suppose up here, wood does rot quite quickly. Okay, let's get out the church grounds. I love that old church, that beautiful old church over there and the cemetery right next to it. Oh, let's go this way back down these steps at the front and then we can see that amazing stone house it's all been cordoned off so I think they're going to restore that now there are government grants available if you do buy one of these old houses to restore it Can you see And it's got a courtyard and a lower level, this one. Let's go and have a look. Oh, look at that. Can't really see properly. Mm, can't get up those steps, can I? No, steps are partly gone. We can go around the side. And then we can ask the local people where the bridge is. There's a lovely old bridge here. This is the house I've just seen from the church which I think is 1930s and there's the old stone house being totally restored oh wow look at this one. Oh, it's part of it guys the one next door or the outbuilding so we've got two stories in a courtyard and then an outbuilding which is also two stories which is quite unusual Well, that's going to take some restoration, isn't it? So quiet, so peaceful. There's some mandarines. I haven't got my backpack here today. There's an old house here with a beautiful mandarine tree. Let's grab one. Oh, is it oranges? Oh, it's oranges, guys. All right. We'll have one of those later, shall we? Put it in our backpack. Okay, so we'll go down this little narrow road here. Oh, that's not leading anywhere. Look at that old window at the top. 
Okay, which way do you think we should go? Straight through. Let's carry on through. See, people were much shorter in those days. And also, they build up the cobbled road. Look. Look at the way the doors are lower than the road. And as it rains, it just probably goes straight into that house. And look at this one. Same example. Wow. So here we are. A mandarin tree. Mm -hmm. Oh. They look delish. Let's try one. Right. Oh, wow. It's got a lot of mandarins, isn't it? They're really delish. Lots of pips, though, on those ones. There's a fig tree. Now, yesterday, we did pick some beautiful figs in the village, and they were enormous, so that big. Look out for the video. It was really delish. I think these ones are all small. Can you see any big ones? No, they're nearly finished. Uh, ornate vases. And we've got a beautiful arch here. I think it's quite new. Going into this little house. Quite a lot of these houses were lived in and then when they passed away they were given to the children or grandchildren and I think now they use them for holiday houses instead of selling them they just come down here for their holiday in their parents or grandparents house that's why a lot of them have been restored and also there's government grants of course which is quite a good thing as it keeps the village beautifully tidy instead of uh, abandoned old houses like this one. Look at this one here. Look, it's got a lower level. You see the roof's collapsed. You can see the bamboo or the cane on the ceiling underneath and the old beams and then concrete on top. See if we can get in. Get through this way. Next door's been restored. No, we can't get in that one. It's probably around the corner. Oh, this one's put in a stone facade on top. And that's the old stone wall. Oh, there it is. Look. Here we are. Go and have a look, shall we? Massive steps. Look, he's even kept some of the old cabinets. Old dresser. And some uh, old kitchen cabinets at the back. Why do I step? Oops. Let's have a look. Oh, he's put uh, some new beams up. And some bamboo ceiling. And then here's going to be the balcony. There we are. Oh, there's a courtyard, look. And actually what we might do is go round and have a look at the courtyard. Look, we started the balcony. There. I think uh, he needs to make those uh, beams a little bit more ornate on the outside, right at the edge. And there's a beautiful door at the top, original door, and down below. Let's go around, have a look. It's quite a big family house. There we go. There it is. This is all part of it. We'll go around the corner. There, around this corner. Right, I'm going to go around. Yeah, here we are. There's the entrance. There, can you see? And then there's this other stone house built 
right next to it on the very corner this one here and it's got its entrance on the side what are these massive oranges look at the size of those they are enormous L massive lemon trees well packed with lemons right where are we there's the courtyard now here that might have been the cesspit and that's why it's collapsed be careful as you walk through so there we are now this would have been a really big family high house guys maybe they would have kept their animals down below here and in that room over there somewhere around here the bedrooms at the top quite a few bedrooms and uh, we've got an outdoor toilet underneath this stairs and uh, terrace oh, very unusual to have such a big house you can see he's put concrete pillars to hold the whole structure up and that's been stabilized now and now he can work on it slowly here's an old kitchen sink or outdoor sink unfortunately cracked carved out of stone right let's carry on through we're going to go up the hill now and see if we can uh, locate this bridge it's a dead end guys yet another mandarin tree should we try it try this one that other one down there was full of uh, pips well should we go down and round or back through this alleyway we go back through the alleyway I think at least we know where we're going right let's try the mandarin as we're walking along oh look at this one Andy and Sue's house number 62 I think that was a shop. See it shutters. Yeah. Right in the corner. That's got the same kind of shutters, can you see? Yeah. This was a shop I think. It's a little coffee shop. Now I am looking for pine cones as well guys. I brought my backpack with me and I've just found that one. Look at the size of that. I did pick a load of pine cones up from Trudos last year and they're great for putting around your garden it prevents the cats from digging out and pooing in your garden so we've driven down this wibbly wobbly road down here can you see it right at the top here we are a bit hickledy pickledy and then we've come down here and we've come across the old bridge and the new bridge 
So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go across the new bridge and this is the Kellyfoss bridge and then I'm hoping to walk across the old bridge. Can you see? Oh wow, isn't that beautiful, the old bridge. So running underneath this beautiful bridge is the second fastest flowing river in Cyprus, the Darius. There it is down there. And we'll see more of the river as we cross the old bridge. Yeah. And it looks like it's an old metal bridge with concrete on top and then grass is growing on it. Obviously there wasn't grass growing on it at this time. It's very similar to the new bridge, isn't it? Listen to that beautiful river. Right, I'm going to cross the old bridge. It's over there. Looks like we've got some stone turrets holding it up. There it is. Oh, I don't know if we're going to get across there. Looks a bit overgrown. We'll give it a go. Go around here. If not, we might be able to get across the bridge from the other side. It was raining last night. Yeah, look, it's totally overgrown. Look at that. The bridge is just behind these bushes. Okay, let's go around the other side where the car's parked. I'll see if I can get over it that way. It's an amazing valley. So guys, as I said uh, many a times, coming out of season to Cyprus is a fantastic idea. You can enjoy the beaches in sunny days and then when it's a little bit overcast or days that you fancy coming up here and having a look around Cyprus, these beautiful mountains. And we are at the foot of the Trudos Mountains at the moment, right in the Paphos area. Here we are. Well, this is more accessible. Looks like they've put some dirt here to prevent cars going over and possibly people. Mm, we can get over this. Yeah, it's not too high. Here we are. Oops, careful. Over we go. Down. There we are, on the old bridge. Wow. Looks like nature's taken over. Yeah, it's an old iron bridge and concrete on top. I wouldn't say it's ancient. Oh wow, look at that. Can you see there, there's a concrete trough there with a drain on top. Now I think that's to pick up water for the fields around here. There's a lot of some olive trees down there. Someone's growing all sorts of things down there. So that might pick up the water from this river. There's the new bridge. Not dissimilar to this one. Quite safe. Looks like the railings are lower down unless the dirt's been built up on top of the bridge. You see the massive girders. 
and they're not welded together you can just spot a couple of the rivets on the side nice place for a picnic listen to the birds Now we're going to take the road, I do believe, go up and out the valley. What a wonderful place to visit. The beautiful little village of Aminu. Hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if there's somewhere you'd like me to go, put it in the comments below.